In this episode, I'm gonna show you a single leg exercise which helps build stability, balance, and strength, particularly in those all important glutes and hamstrings. Let me show you. Lots of the runners I work with ask me for a handful of exercises which will provide maximum benefit for the minimum time they can put in. With their busy lifestyles, it makes sense. One great option is an exercise I know as a runner's arabesque, which is also known by a various different number of names. The concept is very simple for this exercise, but you may well find that the execution really is quite a challenge. Stick around to the end of this short video to learn some common mistakes made in doing this exercise and what to avoid so you can get the most out of the workout. Begin facing a wall, standing on one leg with the other knee raised up in front of you. You should be far enough away from the wall just to put it out of reach. From this balanced position, push backwards with the hanging leg as you reach forwards with both hands, keeping lengthening through your body in both directions, pushing back with the foot and forward with the hands. As you do so, make sure you keep looking towards the wall ahead of you as this helps keep your back flat. In this dynamic single leg exercise, we need to avoid collapsing your trunk into a forward flex posture. The flexion should come from a hinge at the hip, nowhere else. As you reach the horizontal position with your body, you should be feeling a good stretch through your hamstrings and at the back of the thigh on that standing leg. These hamstrings will be lengthening eccentrically to control this forward hinge of your torso moving over the top of the hip. The challenge of this exercise is in bringing yourself, yes, to this horizontal position with enough control, but also being able to bring yourself back up to the standing position without losing balance. After a handful of reps of this, you're definitely going to know that your glutes and your hamstrings have been working. Everybody's exercise program is going to be different, but if you want to challenge, try three sets of 15 slow and controlled on each leg. So there are a couple of things I want you to watch for in this exercise. Firstly, the position of that standing knee as we work through each rep. Some people have a tendency to allow that knee to flick back into hyperextension. Now, with this single leg, single leg exercise, we need to maintain a slight knee bend in that standing leg to help protect the knee itself. If we allow you to flick back into hyperextension as we're load bearing on this one leg, you're gonna put more strain through those knee ligaments. We don't want that. Next, whether you're doing this barefoot or in shoes, I want you to watch out for a tendency to really kind of claw through your toes a little bit. If we get that clawing of the toes, it's probably a little bit of a hint that somewhere up the kinetic chain, so most likely around the hip, you're not providing enough stability, and the muscles around the lower leg, foot and ankle have to do more, they have to work harder to try and provide that stability. Try to relax the foot and keep the toes relaxed as well. Usually runners who claw their toes are the same guys and girls who feel the effects of these single leg exercises burning in their calves. If this is you, you might want to check the video I made on how to improve your balance. I'll leave the link to the video in the description here on YouTube. Best of luck with this exercise. Let me know in the comments how you get on with a three sets of 15 challenge and I'll speak to you soon. Bye now.